Yes, finally. Finally I can start welcoming you again. The third time now. So welcome YouTube, Wait, welcome Twitch, welcome everyone. I will do a let's play, let's play with the dev. I had three time to kind of practice my introduction because we had a lot of problems. But now it's the good one, I hope. And so I will play the game and just uh, do the voice and answer your question if you have some and just like sometimes talk about how we created stuff and uh, that's it and I hope to be able to do many of those lives so if it's your first one uh, come to the next live on Twitch uh, if you look at that on YouTube and uh, yeah let's start so I'm playing with controller it's uh, the PC version on Steam and uh, Control works fine, so it's actually better with the control. Let's start it. Damia, a 10 years old boy, moved from the first time in Japan. He calls upon his imagination to face the challenge of his new life. He becomes the intergalactic hero named Captain Velvet Meteor. Leave France, making the airplane to move somewhere else. From France to Japan, that's a 13 hour flight. It's long. Goodbye, my friends, my school, and my favorite places. So here you have his hand drawing and it's all between uh, French and, and Japanese so he, he wrote all the name of his uh, friends from school like you have Mark, Tanya, Robert <laughs> and Watashi in Japanese like, meaning ma, me, moi in French and he wrote like mon école et mes amis that means like my school and my friends with a lot of mistakes and the truck, like the moving truck it's not like that at all but like you know Kids. We are leaving everything behind to go to Japan. Everyone's happy to go live at my grandma's place. Everyone except me. So here you have his family's uh, like drawing. Aya, his little sister. His father, like Papa, with uh, big wings. And you see, he's not happy about his father for some reason. He's the devil. Mama, still like Mamo in French. Super Damia, he's already like, you know, the little Dragon Ball, <laughs> little Dragon Ball Easter egg. And uh, Super Lucien, Super uh, Lucien, that's the dog, and I have a joke about the dog, I will to talk about it. And then Grandma of the Japan, is like a grand grandma from Japan. So, a little, uh, already a little stuff about uh, the dog name. Lucien in French is a normal name, right, Lucien? And in French, when you say le chien, that means the dog is le chien, so it's Lucien. But the thing is, like in Japanese, when you say Lucia, you say le chien, le chien. So it's like <laughs> it's a French Japanese joke just to say actually Lucien is the dog, it's just the dog, the name is just you know, <laughs> that was kind of fun. Any, anyways, our plane is about to land, no turning back now. Captain Velvet Meteor, so that's he, he's. How he view himself with the spaceship, robots, planets, and uh, himself. Exploration log number one. It started with a simple mission into the far region of the galaxy. With my trusty JP at the helm, my Velvet Wonder, so that's the name of the spaceship, my Velvet Wonder was soaring through space. <laughs> So that's how he imagined his drawing, right? And then he hit, hit. So a little stuff here. The planet here, if you look at it, like the whole planet is actually the shape of Japan. Like the, the, the only island that you have is, the, is Japan. So the whole planet is, is Japan. So you can already make the image. Okay, he, he's made it. And then you have this big monster. That if you remember the, the animation we showed in the short movie, so it's the, the, 
boss is kind of like this type of one head and one belly at this point. Made it, made it dangerous. A dark energy pulling us, a gigantic spaceship in orbit around an unknown, unknown planet. After this massive, massive energy attack, the velvet wonder fell. Emergency landing at Tiberia. If someone hears this, send help. I'm Captain Velvet Meteor, space explorer. And then you crash Kyoto, Japan. And you have little boy Damien. There, probably not so happy. And the crash site. We are in his mind now. Captain, do you hear me? This is JP. Are you alright? Yes, I'm fine. What happened? The Velvet Wonder auto-activated the, the emergency escape system. We need to find your spaceship crash site. Yeah, and then maybe we can understand where we are. I have never explored a planet like this in my previous adventures. Tutorial. Use the left stick to move. You can move a number of tiles equal to your movement point. Right. So, the system is quite simple. You have... Oh, wait, wait, wait. You can undo your move by pressing B. Right. Hold A to launch your action. Okay. So, it's a turn-based um, tactical game, right? The thing is like you have a limited amount of uh, movement points, so if you look uh, up left where he, he doesn't have all his life because he fell, you have a 4, 1, 2, 3 that, that get to 0, that's his movement point. And then it moves automatically. That's a relief, Captain. Your body seems to be, to be working perfectly. I must be near your position. Try to find me. Press what? Um, Y. Press Y to enter camera mode and then use the right stick to zoom in. So I'm, I'm playing on a Xbox controller but you can also play on a PS controller and, a, and a, any controller actually like Switch controller as well on PC version so normally any controller you have must work. So let's try it out. In camera mode use left stick to move around, move the camera to find me. Yeah so the left stick is to move, the right stick is to zoom and that's that will be necessary generally in, in, in your um, battle to be able to see uh, what will come next. So you have the world here and JP is here. Nice! Moving to our your position, Captain. Captain, I detect minor obstacles in, obstacles in front of us. They can easily be disposed if using our, your meteor gun and my antenna. Change the select character with RB. Use the left stick to move both character in front of the wall. So now, basic system, you can change character and move your character there. If there is a val valid target, characters prepare an attack in front of them. And now hold A to launch your attack at the same time. So what is specific about this game is that not only you need to move those characters in the same turn, that generally like um we'll continue with talking. Like generally the tactical game wants you to move a character in the turn, move the other character in the turn because they have um, initiatives and stuff like that. In that game you need to move both characters in the same time and then when you finish the turn they will attack automatically where you aimed for. So so that makes the system quite dynamic, but just you just need to be kind of uh, like remembering that you need to move both characters. Some players, something uh, take time to have the habit to do that. Whoa! Have you ever seen these type of rooms? Not rooms, Captain. This seems to be still working. My sensors are picking energy signal all over the day. Open the right gate by moving JP on the switch. gate by shooting on the switch with Captain Velvet Meteor. So he use the right stick to select in which direction you want to attack and then press attack. So you can yeah rotate your, your action there with the right stick again. 
it's all about positioning your, your character in the right position and uh, also try to stick together to make the most out of, of your actions. Well, JP, more trouble ahead. I think this gate is broken. So it seems. But now that we, have, we are together, we can assa assist each other. The key to vi victory resides in combos. Place a character on the blue mark. The, re the regular combo initiates the special ability of your partner. So you have now combos available. Hold A to launch combos. <coughs> you know, in shonen ga manga and uh, in shonen story, generally, like, um, character are stronger together. Like, the main character is, is strong, but, like, he gets stronger because of his friends or, like, the fact that he need to uh, help his friend or, like, stuff like that. And, um, they get, like, really angry where, like, someone is almost, almost died and stuff like that. So, what we wanted to, to do with this game is, like, if you are together, you are stronger. And if you are uh, separate, you have your own moves and your own uh, like attacks that is, they are strong, but like you are definitely stronger together. So that's the point of the, of the combos, right? So the combo with uh, JP is simple. It's just like he, he can repair stuff. He can repair stuff. Captain, detecting ho hostile creature in front of us. Origin unknown. Roger that. Some of them are so small we can just step on them to kill them. Let's go, JP. Again, like, again, the image I had when when I created those little monsters just to be killed, right? Because they are not strong. They are few, and um, it was all about the feeling of like rushing through enemies and seeing like the enemies like flow rah, like that. To, to reach the stronger one, right? You have that sometimes in manga, they are so powerful that just by moving around, like people get wah, blown away and all that. So, like, that kind of, that was like the, the ID behind that. And so now you will see like how they die just by walking through them. Captain, our vital signs are getting better. These creatures seem to hold a rare cosmic healing energy. Okay, let's just pretend that's perfectly normal. Two to all. You gain health point every time you kill enemies. The more enemy you kill at the same time, the more health you gain back. Characters share the same health bar. If it reaches zero, the battle is lost. So again, a little um, something different is that because you move characters both together, then they have the same HP bar, and that means if one of them gets too much heat, both die. Now, let's get rid of them. <clears throat> Some enemies drop extra movement points. You can use them to move character further, they are stuck under the health bar. So, you had this, like, each character can move only four. As you can see now, when I, like I do the full run, one, two, three, four. Like, yeah, one, two, three, four. When I do one more, I will use one um, movement point on the le left side of the screen. And you have this kind of green dot. And so that's the, both of them can use them, right? And so that's also like a little strategic stuff when you, you have movement point. Which one will use them? Will you, if you are separated, maybe you use them to, to come together again and stuff like that. Killed enemies sometimes drop power orbs. Gather three by moving close to them to fully charge your power combo gauge. Stay close to me, JP. We are stronger if we stick together. Time to use our power combo. So that's the last combo we have here. Last bit of gameplay. So. Place your character on the yellow mark that appear behind your partner and unleash your power combo on the enemies. So each character will have a different uh, combos and different power combos. So remember, we have eight uh, manga characters that will come and so each one is different. Okay, let's try to whip, wipe them, not whip them, 
to wipe them all in one shot. Hold A. Hold A. Because you have the life coming back, the, the, this game also in fact emphasizes on the fact that you need to, you you want to attack, right? You want to fight um, the monsters and not just like stay still. I wonder if my mic is good enough. Wait a second. Okay, maybe it's better like that. <clears throat> because I'm quite relaxed, I don't speak loud, right? So I wonder if the sound is too too loud right now. Can anyone tell? In the chat, is someone here? Someone here? Hey, is the sound good enough? Maybe nobody is here. It's good. So for the YouTube, uh, if it was uh, too not enough loud, I'm sorry. Again. Uh, each each uh, stream is better than the other, so you can wait the next one if you can't hear this one. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. So you saw uh, here on the, on the monsters you have uh, a special cross that just shown. That's a stun, uh, like or incapacity type of uh, element. So you can use that also. Like this power combo was only for uh, uh, repairing stuff, but because it's electricity, it's kind of like a F reason they they are stunned, and so they cannot like move. And that's a good advantage if you want to kill big monsters. And that's the last of them. Good job, JP. Thank you, Captain. I detect no other threat around us. Your spaceship will be safe for now. Looks like the crash took down the other shield, the outer shield, but it protected the hull. Good. Maybe we are stuck on this planet after all. Captain, I hope the damage is not beyond repair. Poof, poor Velvet Wonder. Okay, deep breath. Let's move inside. Oh, little achievement. Okay, JP, I've plugged you to the Velvet main computer. Thank you, Captain. Initiating full analysis. So, what are we dealing with? Well, Captain, good news first. No critical damage to the computer system and the ship hull looks rather fine. We should be able to use the teleportation beams, our research drone, and the food processor. Great! That's good to hear. And the bad news? Well, our energy levels are running very low due to the emergency landing. The Velvet Wonder cannot fly in this state. We need to explore the planet to find energy sources that, can, that we can use to power the ship back up. It's not that bad, I guess. There's much worse. I cannot join you on this adventure. I need to stay plugged to the main computer, running repairs from here. I can help you on the radio and use our teleportation beams to keep you out of danger. But you'll be going out alone. I am sorry. Listen, JP, don't worry about that. Use our research drone to scan the planet. See if we can track something useful. And just teleport me anywhere there's something to explore. Oh no, they have some exploration to do. Roger that. Damien! Have you finished unpacking? Huh? We are going shopping with your sister. I made you a list of things you do to do in our absence. Please start by checking if Lucia is fine. We're leaving now. See you later, Damien. <sighs> Captain, are you okay? Gotta run, something else just came up. I'm counting off you for this. Aye hi Captain, aye aye Captain. So, <laughs> reality came back. And uh, I'm sorry, I screamed, but I guess the sound was okay because I put a limiter that doesn't break everything. Let's try. Ha! 
Yeah, it's all good. <laughs> okay, mom. All right. Mission unpacking complete. Bed done. Poster on the walls done. Manga in bookshelf done. So, this is my new room. My new house. Feels old and smells like damp wood. The floor makes creaking noise and the walls are super thin. Nothing like our modern apartment in Leo. Mom and Dad, we are talking about we are talking about making some repairs. Oh well, let's try to say positive. It's my new home in Japan anyway. And then we arrive in the um, real world type of gameplay, where this little dummy can, with his super backpack, can um, discover his new home. Ta-da! Nothing more beautiful than a bookcase filled with manga. You can see actually some, like the manga cover, are actually manga covers from uh, from manga like Kaiju number no. 8. You have here, I think, Slime Life and this time for Tor Torture Princess. And also like the, the orange one, it's actually Calvin Ops book that are here. <laughs> so it's kind of funny too, like I, I put it a, a lot of little stuff. Space Explorer's Guidebook. Wake up technique number three. Put the alarm clock as far from the bed as possible. Do that, please do that. Every morning I try to wake up and I put the snooze on my on my smartphone just near my, my bed and that doesn't work at all, so do that, really. Wanted, Captain Velvet Meteor, space pirate. His crime, exploring too much. A little, a little wink to to One Piece, if you know that. Also here, Spy Family poster. My drawings are getting better. Good thing that I have a mom to teach me the basics. I can hear the sound of the school nearby. I don't want to go there. Oh, school time is soon. School in Japani Japanese is not the same as France, I'm sure. At least we could bring my bed all the way from France. I was worried about to sleep. Uh, I was wor worried I had to sleep on a futon. I'm sorry, I need to, to drink a little bit. <clears throat> so yeah, you have a, you ha in Japan you have a lot of like normal bed. Yeah, it's kind of common now, but like a lot of uh, here where I live here also, we have a lot of floors that are tatami and generally you cannot put a, a bed on the tatami because it breaks it. <laughs> and so you have futons and uh, you like or you don't like, but uh, it's, it's, it's good, but um, yeah. I can understand the kid who likes his bed and not having to sleep on a futon. My box of secrets containing detail from my previous mission. Expertly protected with a Utah Judai sign. <laughs> my poster collection. I still need to decide which one to put over. I'm sure he has like Dragon Ball and stuff and all that, but he cannot do. Probably because of legal, <laughs> legal problems. My mysterious wardrobe, maybe the gateway to another dimension, like Narnia or something? The dustbin is filled with cardboard scraps. And here I don't receive, uh, normally we receive um, stamps. I just want to show the stamps, uh, but I will let you find them by yourself if you play the game. So, not try to... to spoil too much even if they just let's play with spoil a little bit if you follow everything but so here you have a bingo with um with stamps and if you have uh, one line then you receive a special level uh, that is more difficult than the one you did before is a, a boss level and you can with this mini you can come back to the spaceship as well but i will not go there for now <clears throat> let's go visit the house a little bit um, yeah, I, I will visit the house a little bit, do the, a part of the next chapter, maybe not the whole chapter, and then probably stop for, stop the stream. So you've disguised yourself as a floor cleaning robot, JP, smart. So yeah, JP, it's actually in his head a, a space robot, but here it's just a Moomba, or like a, those kind of robot cleaner. For that, mom's heart is just like me and my posters. No wall will remain empty. So those arts uh, piece that you can see here, 
are actually real art piece from my wife <laughs> so she's uh how you say like a wood engraver and she was okay to to put some art like in the story of damien so it's it's kind of mixed up with our own personal stuff but that's her, her art and you have some here as well difficult to see but that's her like uh original art and so we linked a little bit with the story because like the mother of, of Damian, she's also like a illustrator type mangaka, I think. Or maybe, I don't remember exactly, but like she's doing those kind of drawing stuff. Like here, mom's desk, she's always looking super focused when she's drawing. So you can imagine that she's like, yeah, maybe. I remember like a movie that I, I loved that the name is like The Taste of Tea, I think, where the mother is like... Uh, trying to balance family life and animator life and so she's at home doing animation and that was kind of also the inspiration behind that tv check game console check ready to engage chill out mode and as you can see you have some persephone <laughs> easter eggs there yeah we, we tried to put everything we wanted to put like as legal as possible to make it fun right And now because the story I did already like the whole uh, the Japanese toilet. So in Japan you have like depends on the house you have like old toilet toilet mix with like really the old traditional stuff mixed with new ones, right? So here you have those Japanese traditional toilets. And if we go downstairs you have like the actually this house is really huge. You don't have those kind of huge, of huge house in a yeah, you have them but like it's really difficult to live there so but uh, for the game concern it was necessary to have a big house so they are rich right <laughs> that's not like a we cannot be 100 percent realistic so and here you have like the more now type of toilets uh, you know washlets wait could i be in the presence of the legendary high-tech japanese toilet equip equipped with a uh, water jet so you have those kind of toilets um <laughs> In Japan where uh, you have a water jet like helping you you know cleaning up everything and uh, I had a fun funny story about that because the first time I came to Japan I didn't really know and I wanted to try it, it was it was winter the toilet was heating up my you know my precious and so I was sitting there I was like oh that's so cool and you had a bunch of buttons there and I was like, oh, what's this button? Let's try it, you know? And it was only written in Japanese. When normally now you have icons and everything, but like, I was like, oh, what's that? And I pushed the button and it was like, hmm? strange noise. And suddenly like, like the, you know? And I was like, oh, oh how, how did I stop that? And fortunately one of the button was red. So I knew like, okay, I need to push that. But it was really a almost drama, you know, drama like, uh, situation and so i find i find quite interesting to put like a, <laughs> i wanted to make a battle with the the toilet but uh, at the end we didn't took it so that's the dog damien now he's calm because um as i said i didn't like clean the whole safe oh pet the dog cool i didn't hide it um but let's start like this episode um two and we go back to the spaceship it will be easier here i have all the characters so that's the spaceship of damien it's actually a representation of kind of his room here you have the desk the plant uh, the window the mangas his bed and stuff like that um and then the main map let's go for the first so here at that point he sees uh, Lucian that is really aggressive um, and he doesn't understand why and so you start the first uh, episode with the manga license. Kill a little bird and he's aggressive why? Because actually he's just moved from uh, France as well and as you know animals doesn't like to be you know, 13 hours in a, in a cage in an airplane and uh, he's as low as Damien so he, he doesn't understand it maybe he doesn't recognize Damien and get aggressive <gasps> okay. 
and then he take back his courage and become Captain Velvet Meteor. All right, that's a mission for Captain Velvet Meteor. Boom. Coming back to the spaceship. Welcome back to the Velvet Wonder, Captain. Thanks, JP. The ship looks much better now. I'm happy to hear you say that. It's currently still under repair, but I was able to stop the fire. And we need to find energy source to complete the repair and takeoff. Yeah, that's right. If you find one, we should be able to teleport it and keep it there. Roger that. So, any potential energy source on this planet? Yes, I scanned the planet's surface and I found something promising. I can teleport you near it, but you'll need to do the rest on foot and discover where, it's, where it is precisely. Precisely. Sorry for my accent. Alright, let's do some exploring then. Aye aye, Captain. I've prepared an hologram of this unknown planet. This will help you with your exploration. You just use... Ah. Just use it to select where you want to go and I'll teleport you there. You can also use it to play again previous area. Yeah, okay, so that's what, what we are doing now. <laughs> play again previous area. And, oh, and don't forget, you can always use the option menu to teleport back to the spaceship. Roger that. Thanks, JP. Yeah, little tutorial hid hidden in narrative scenes. Teleportation process complete. Captain, the Velvet Wonder scanner are picking some promising energy signals in the area. Whoa! JP, I can see a giant thing over there in the distance. It kinda look like a dog. This giant life form is patrolling around here to, to, so be extra careful. Wait! Another monster! But this one looks different. JP, can you get any readings on it? Yes, Captain. I'm detecting a massive energy source. Be very careful. I think it killed all the enemies in the area. Captain! You are a captain! Good. It can talk! Who are you? So you are not one of them? Mm. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> please, 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 Captain! I'm lost. I don't know how I ended up here. What is this strange planet? This is not Earth, right? Whoa, calm down, Mr. Monster. We are also trying to get more information on this place. Just like you, we are suddenly brought here by a mysterious force. So, I'm not in Tokyo anymore. But there are still after beasts everywhere. After beasts? What do you mean? After beasts are monsters produced by a huge base monster. A giant monster? It must be the one I just saw in the distance. Sorry to interrupt, Captain. I'm starting to detect enemies in your proximity. Yeah, I have been striking down hundreds of them, and they never seem to stop coming. No time to lose! Activating Meteor Gun! Ok, look, ok, <laughs> looks like it's time to kill some beasts. Reach the level end. Ok, so, from here we start like the real deal, like we had a, a tutorial before and tutorial in the house, and so now it's uh the start of the manga collaboration um, level so we have like eight chapters that's the first one and um, it's with uh, Hibino Kafka that is the character from Kaiju number eight or monster number eight in different countries and it's quite known now I, I don't think they have animation yet but probably it will come at one point So as you see, he has a different um, combo than um, JP. So his combo is he screams so loud that he can push back um, enemies. But the thing is like, it's not doing a lot of damage, but it's really huge area in uh, pushing back enemies. So it's, it's definitely like uh, useful for a lot of situation. And we have the power combo already, so let's try it. Ooh. Ooh. That's really powerful, like, it doesn't 
tons, tons of damage. Also, as you see, I don't care about the little one. I just use them to fill my life back and, and yeah, they do a little bit of damage if they are really a lot, but by just working on them, I take my life back anyways. Shoot. Now I'm full. Another thing like important is that in this game you um, don't keep um, your life and your power orb from the previous level so if you go in the next level, next level you start from scratch so even if you finish a level almost with 1 HP it's okay you know. My name is Kafka by the way, Hibino Kafka, I'm with the Japanese Defense Force. I'm Captain Velvet Meteor, Space Explorer, nice to meet you. And I'm JP, best robot friend, tactical expert and weapon specialist. My favorite color is red, my last update was two weeks ago, my Nice to meet you, JP. Captain, let's stay close together. With my monster power and your gun, I'm sure we can face anything. Agreed. We need to find where they are coming from to stop them. Let's go. And you know what? You know what? I think I will stop here. I think it's just good enough for an introduction for the game. So Captain Velvet Meteor and Hibino Kafka versus Dogzilla in the sector K180AMO on the Kaiju Trail. And like that I will stop here and next time we will uh, continue from that point and go until the boss at least. Uh, I don't know when exactly but stay tuned uh, on the Discord. So. We have a Discord channel, if you want to join, um, I will post the, the link there once I cut and uh, the link will, will be on the YouTube video and on the Twitch video as well. So thank you for watching. <laughs>